What a wonderful day. The day after a wonderful bond, the community showed up. How about that? 85%, Laura. That's amazing. Uh <laughs> I'm with Laura Burrow of the United Way, and of course, about a year ago, a tornado ripped through our community. The United Way came up front. They created a fund that has helped a lot of people, but Laura, you've got news. There's more funds available, and there's more people to help. Yeah, so with the long-term recovery group, which is basically a people made up of made up of people in our community yeah. who bring their resources together to help meet the needs of individuals and families that were impacted. And so far, we've been able to help 22 families full, fully recover from the tornado, which is amazing. Yes. But there's still a lot of people that need help. And recovery is a long process. And unfortunately, there's still people in our community that don't know of the resources that are available. So the long long-term recovery group is going out into the community door to door um, on Monday, April 15th, where we'll be going from 4.30 to 6.30 and just meeting people at their homes and just letting them know of Catholic Charities, which is the main um, resource that is available to people. They provide a disaster case management program and they have amazing caseworkers that help individuals with their recovery. Monday, April 15th, that's tax day. It's easy to remember. And we're meeting in the Big Lots parking lot just across from the Shawnee High School, across from the, the softball fields there by Atwoods. In the Big Lots parking lot, volunteers are needed for April 15th. We need 40 volunteers to get out so that we can canvas the neighborhoods. Yes, and you can sign up on our United Way page. Um, if you go to unitedwaypotco.org and then slash outreach slash, you can sign up there. And if you have any questions, you can reach out to me personally. And that link is right underneath. You can just click right on the link to sign up or to get more information. Laura's email will also be there available for you. And that is Monday, April 15th. That's the first date we want you to remember from today because we need people to just knock on doors and let people know, hey, there's more help available if you need it or your family needs it or you know somebody who needs it. The actual date of the tornado was April 19th. 2023. So April 19th, 2024, we're going to be celebrating recovery. Yeah, so United Way is partnering with Potawatomi Go, Pogo, and Oklahoma Baptist University and Shawnee Family YMCA. And Oh, and Shawnee CTV. <laughs> and uh, we, of course, sorry, Daniel. <laughs> and we really wanted to create an event that recognized everything that we went through on April 19th, the tornado, but to see how far we've come as a community. And on that day, we'll be meeting on the west side of the Geiger Center of OBU. And uh, Mayor Ed Bolt will be speaking. Dr. Thomas from OBU will be speaking. Um, Dr. Um, S. Bolt from Shawnee Public Schools. And and Sandy Vandenberg from United Way. And it's free event. It's open to the whole community. Uh, we'll start at OBU and then we will walk our way to the Shawnee Family YMCA where we'll have a brief tour of just um, how they've been able to restore their building. And then we'll have light refreshments provided by Jersey Mike's. And then from there, we'll walk back to OBU, but it's only about a mile walk. So don't worry if you're like, if you're not out of shape like me, it won't be, <laughs> it won't be bad at all. It'll be a great time. And for you to sign up, you can go on United Way's um, Facebook page or Instagram page or Pogo's um, social media and you can sign up that way for the walk. Or you can click the link right below and sign up to be a part of that stroll. The Geiger Center is basically the field between Rayleigh and and the Geiger Center. That's the side of the Geiger Center that you wanna be on when you enter OBU's campus. There's a parking lot there that makes easy access if you park off of MacArthur. You can leave your car there for the stroll, but what about those who might not be up for the stroll? Is it okay if they come just to hear the magnificent lineup of local speakers? Oh, of course, 100%. We want um, we want you guys just to be there, even if it's just to hear um, the speakers. And if you make it to the YMCA, um, YMCA is providing a show to take people back to OBU if you're not able to make it back to OBU on your own. So. so you can go with no stroll, you can go with half a stroll, or you can go with the full stroll. 
however you like it. And we also want to be a part of that to help you who might not be able to make it out to OBU. We'll live stream the speaker aspect for you to be able to enjoy on that evening. That's going to be April 19th. Tell us again the times. It's going to be at 5.30. And again, we're going to meet on the west side of the Geiger Center. So 5.30, right after work, get you a little leisure right after work. It's a Friday afternoon. Join the community as we get to celebrate with the United Way one year aftermath of such a devastating tornado. And Laura, how do you feel as a community we have taken this first year? As a recovery expert, how are we recovering? So recovery is such a heavy process. It is a day by day process and it's not fast and it's not easy and it's not simple, but due to the resources that we have within our community, um, there's been so many people, so many um, leaders that have come together to provide resources, whether that was just after the tornado, but even seeing the recovery since then, um, we've come a long way. We still have a long way to go, but there are still many things to celebrate, including those 22 families that have recovered so far. And we're just getting started with that work. So I, um, I'm i very um, honored and very um, just thankful for our community here in Shawnee and Potawatomi County. Well, and Laura, we're thankful for you. Laura was actually chosen to be this representative for our community because of who she is and how you represent yourself. And I want to thank you for your service over the last year plus in helping our families to recover from such a devastation. But you're one of us. I know that. So one of us helping, helping all of us to get better. So two dates, April 15th, that's Monday. Meet at the Big Lots parking lot to volunteer and walk and knock on doors and let people know that there's more funds available. There's more recovery help available for all of our community. And then April 19th on the one year anniversary on the lawn of OBU that that took so much devastation on that night. What a beautiful way for us to be able to gather and celebrate, have a walk, have a stroll together and be able to come together as community. Any final thoughts? Um, um, I just want to thank you, Daniel, and Shiny CTV for this opportunity to promote such important events. So thank you, and I'm excited, and I hope to see you guys at those events. We hope to see you as well, because remember, Shawnee, all of us, together, we build community one season at a time.